Can we hear you sleeping? Good morning. The sun is there already. Check this out. Whoa, really strong sun. Whoa. I'm Roberta. And I'm Luca. And for the past year, we have been building our own tiny shipping container house so we can travel around knowing that we will always have this little place that we can call home. But guess what? We just found our dream project before we expected. This abandoned sailboat. So we are going to stop building the house for a couple months to bring our boat back to life. And then we're going to go back and finish the house. First sunrise on the boat floating. That's so cool. So now, the important moment, after one long night, let's check for leaks, before, because we put the boat on the water already, I would say, more than 12 hours ago, yeah. and we need to see if there's any leak now, because it can take some time to the leak to appear, I don't think there will be, but we need to check. Someone is awake now. Working already. Working already. No leak, babe. Mm, that's good. Leak free. It's a big. Yeah, but now it's time to wake up, have some breakfast on the boat for the first time because. Not for the first time, it's for the first time with floating. water. Yeah, floating. Floating with water, with energy. Yeah, it's the first time with water on the tap. You just like get the water, you boil the water. It's okay. the first real time. But Zay is coming today to finally start finishing the mess because even though it seems the mess is ready, we need to install a second general further and the mess position is not perfect. So we need to align the mess in order to order sales and the amount of time we are going to stay on this boat yard now it all depends on the sales because the sales might take from four to six weeks to get ready and as soon as we order them the better so we need to finish trimming the mess this week so next week early next week we can ask the guy from the sa the sale maker to come and measure and start counting four weeks six weeks Nightmare. You did? What happened? You found someone else and I, I was kicked out of your life. What? Yeah. That's not gonna happen. You're stuck with me. <laughs> Breakfast time. <laughs> So now, while we're having the first breakfast on board, we are gonna have the first meeting. <laughs> yeah, this is the first, first. This is the first discussion. Solo first. Yeah, this is the first discussion about what we need to do before we untie the lines. So now that the before splash to do list is done and we splash the board already, from now on we're gonna chase the list we are gonna write here but I'm gonna keep eating my breast breakfast and having this meeting and then we're gonna show you the list of what we need to do before we set sail. It's gonna be cool. Can't wait. <laughs> For now, that's the list. These are the things we remember <laughs> we need to do. Yeah, if we remember anything else, in the future we're going to start adding to the list, but yeah. for now, let's show you this list. 
we need to finish the mess we need to trim to install the general folder and to trim uh, and in general we need to finish installing the insulation panels and we need to install some hose bags yeah we are replacing the insulation for a good material yeah it's pretty good and we need to install the cables back the trotter control Mm, learning and uh, cockpit cockpit arch we still need to do yeah we're gonna have an extra cockpit arch to hold the sheet for the main sail sails we need to order we need to install all the deck hardware back uh entry ladder is falling apart we need to fix it this one Cabinet doors, we don't have any locks. locks now, we need to install locks. Yeah, that means that if we go sailing, all the doors are going to open because there is no locks. Yeah. Uh, stove oven gas, we need to install a, a gas bottle and to fix this, to try to see if it's working. Toilets. Toilets, we need to install That's them. important one, because now if we stay on the boat floating, we need toilets. Yeah. That's almost done. When we were on the dry, we did all the hoses and everything's ready, we just need to connect the toilet. The only problem is that we changed the brand of the toilet, so the screws change. So now we need to do like some the position adaptation. Of the toilet. Yeah, we need some adaptation and some extra wood on the floor to hold the toilet and to glue the screw on it. It's just a little bit of fitting, but it's gonna be soon because we need one toilet on the boat. <laughs> hot water tank. We need to install some hose. Yeah, we need to connect the hot water tank to the engine itself because right now it's not connected to the engine. 12 volt system. That's, that's the big project. Yeah. <laughs> we decide to replace the 12 volt system and to build a brand new 12 volt panel that Fred is gonna build with us. We bought all the break, circuit breakers and everything. We just need to create the layout and the design of the electrical system and we're gonna do that while we wait for the sales to be done. Electronics, we need to install all the electronics. Yeah, we have like <laughs> short plotter and autopilot and everything to be installed. That's gonna be a lot of work also. I just remember that we need to close the diesel tank. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that soon, really soon, because yeah. we want yeah. to try the yeah. engine, yeah. so we need to close the diesel tank. This week, yeah. probably. If you have any idea of any, anything else we can do, let us know, because we might for you, we might forgot something. A lot. I'm pretty sure it's early morning now. It's like we woke up six something in the morning. So, you know, we're just waking up, but that's good just to get the day started and just think about what we need to do because of course we don't want to stay here forever and we want to leave the marina soon, but we cannot do that without sales and as we are going to be waiting for sales here, why not just do the rest? Yeah. Funny how the distance makes it feel like you're right here I never thought I'd be the one to say But I can feel your presence with me though you're not around We are watching these splash moments I didn't see the image yet It's gonna be the first time On the boat On the water No, no it's a reaction video it's a reaction video. We never watched this before. It actually floats. <laughs> we are floating right now. Yeah, we are floating right now. So today it's time to start putting the mast in place. Yeah. We are now, the, ne the next step on the refit, now that we are floating, is to trim the mess. We need to get the mess to the exactly position we want in order to measure the mess and order sales. Because sales is gonna take like from four to six weeks to be ready. So now Zé is gonna uh, install the second Genoa furler today. But first, he's just putting the first one down a little bit, just five centimeters because we think it was too high, so he's just fixing a small mistake, not a mistake, it's just something that we change our minds. Wait, wait, before we do that, let's go back in time first. Back in time? Yeah, time machine. When we installed the first general furler, we didn't show you the first general furler because we wanted to have them both installed in one episode. So now we can go back in time, don't worry, the boat's not back on land. We are still floating, but we are going to show you when we were on the dry and when we installed the mess and we installed the first general further. So, back in time. 
So today we're gonna install the smaller Genoa furler. The second one we're gonna wait because we ordered a custom-made piece from the manufacturer to install the furler a little bit higher on the deck so the sail won't hit the poop. But today we're gonna install the first one. That's really cool because I'm really curious to see how the furler goes together, like all the small pieces, like a huge puzzle. Let's check this out. So we're gonna have two Genoa furling systems, a bigger Genoa and a smaller Genoa. This one is for the smaller Genoa and this furling uh, is a Profu 420C. This one was on the boat already, the former owner bought but never installed. So this is like 16 years old but was on the box brand new. The other one is gonna be made by Nautos, I mean we have already, it's made by Nautos, it's the big one. And we are not going to install that one today, we're just going to install this one today because we need to have an extension. You see this uh, right on my right hand? This extension is made so the furler is higher than the poop, so the, uh, the Genoa is not hitting the poop all the time. And we order a special made, a custom made for us with Nautus and they are still making, so whenever the piece is ready, we are going to install the other one. moving day again so now we are gonna move from this spot yeah when we think we are gonna stay here for a long time 
we need to move the boat. I mean, it's, it's a good thing because right here is the place where boats that come and go out the travel lift stays for a little while. So now they're gonna help us to go around one boat and go to a spot that we can sit there for like a month if we need. Let's go. So today we are gonna finally, finally install the second Genoa furler. I've been really, really curious to see the boat with both furlings in place. Now that the mess is trimmed, Zay and Batata just tied all the stays and calibrate each one of them. And now we are ready to install the big one. Yeah, that's a huge, the stay is like 12 millimeters. It's like really, really thick and heavy stay. So here is the foil. Here's the furling system. And now my assistant is gonna assist Zayn Batata because I need to go somewhere really quick. Can you do that for me? Yeah. I'll be right back. I just need to go to the welder to check the foot of the new arch because we are just trying to get the right screws in place in the right holes. It's not just, easy, but... Yeah, just bo boring matter, 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 no, no, no. I'm just rambling. Yeah, she's gonna take care of everything now and I'll be right back. Good luck. See ya. The next Geno Furler. It's yours. That's it. We have two furling systems now. Yeah. Yeah. I was counting the days to see both furling systems in place. That's so cool. Yeah. You cannot see, it's too far away. Can we measure the mess now? Charter the sails. sails? Yeah, there's one more thing we want to do first. We might change the height of the boom, but we need a few days to think about that. So by the end of the week, I guess we're gonna measure the mess for sales. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so today we're gonna work on the last step 
that we need to do before we order sales. I mean, before we start measuring the mess and then we can order sales. Right now, we have our old frame that we are gonna reuse, of course. This is the frame for the Dodger. And we have the boom in place, right? We talked before about the possibility of putting the boom down. What's the idea? Right here, I think it's on a good height because we're gonna have a Bimini and we're gonna have solar panels on the top. But there, it's really, really high to work on the lace jack. If we need to close the lace jack, it's like so high up. So the idea now is to lower down the boom on that end a little bit, like, I don't know, like maybe 30 centimeters or 40 centimeters. And then here, we're gonna keep the boom as it is. So basically, we're gonna have a boom that starts high and start going, going down all the way to the mast. And before we do a mess, of course, we are gonna, you know, just try test. some tests. Yeah, we're gonna run some tests with uh, just a string. We're gonna tie a string there and connect this string there and see where the boom would be if we change the position. So let's do that. So the new angle would be potentially this. would be this angle. Fred's high. Fred's really tall. Where's the angle? Where's the line? Fred, just because I cannot see the line here. So here's the line. I don't know if you can see How the line. How tall you are? The line is right here. 180. For me, it's totally high enough. It's right here. I think that's totally fine. Love. And we can have just solar panels here <laughs> instead of here. Because my yes. original idea was to have solar panels in the whole thing. But you can have here. And we're gonna do flexible films. We are gonna talk about it. Can I? Yeah. <laughs> this was fake actually. <laughs> we were like 10 minutes just hitting this and <laughs> it was really hard to come off actually. <laughs> so now we need to put this around here. Here. That is a place. We don't need Duca anymore. <laughs> we made the decisions. We did the job. <laughs> Poor Duke. <laughs> he went there to fix um, the door of the. <laughs> they're changing the door of our locker, so Duke needed to go there to to help them. That's, That's it? That's it? That's so cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. We've been thinking about doing that for like, I don't know, maybe six months already? Eight months? Since we, we put the mast in place? Yeah, we realized that the boom was too high. The reason for that is that we want to bring the center of gravity of the boat down. So if we have the boom lower, the sail is going to come down. And also it's going to make life a lot easier if we need to close the lace jack. Because here, now you it's... you need. If I need, yeah, I can I just can. step. Yeah, but it's gonna be, it's gonna make more sense this height 
and we decide to have the boom because if we have a straight boom all the way this would be too low for the cockpit for our heads like clearance would be too low so we're gonna keep the boom high on the end it's gonna be a little bit of an angle what's well, not a big deal i think no. do you think it's a big deal no and the last jack is gonna compensate the angles yeah it's so good. it's gonna be really good and now we just need to decide the height we want for the boom and we can measure the mass in order the sails yeah that's the big thing the sails is what's gonna take longer for us to do now so we need to order the sails as soon as possible and while they make the sails we work on everything else and then we can set, set it. yeah that's the next big goal to set sail <laughs> see you guys later see you isn't that cool we have two general furthers now we have sails already Almost. <laughs> yeah, we didn't show you the procedure of uh, measuring the mass for the sails because we want to do just one full episode about the sails. So we're gonna hold these images, and we are gonna show you the the old ones. As yeah, well. but we already ordered sails. Now we are just on a counting down on a date to receive our new sails, and we can go sailing. Yeah. yeah. What else we need to do this week? We need to thank Nautus for yeah. being a partner. Nautus is the manufacturer of this furling system that's also the manufacturer of all our turnbuckles for the mess and also the manufacturer for our betting car. We want to thank Nautus to partner with us because without Nautus, the boat wouldn't be so, as cool as it is right now. <laughs> and this furling system is really, really good. I mean, like, so amazing, it's huge. They say that the maintenance is really easy to do. And also because we didn't even know that. They can do some uh, special. Cost, special orders. Yeah. That's so cool because when we ordered this furling system, the reason why we didn't install earlier, you know, months ago, is because it was too low on the deck and we didn't want the sails to hit the poop all the time. So we asked them to build this extension. So now we extend like this much. And in this way, now the sails are higher and it's better for, visibil for visibility, you know, because the sail is going to be high and not hidden here. I prefer like this for cruising. We're not like a regatta boat or you know <laughs> racing boat. And that's so cool. And also, we had another problem that is the hole for this pin was too thin on the deck because this stay used to be 10 millimeters and now it's 12 millimeters. And we didn't want to you know create a bigger hole because we would lose uh, strength on the plate on the stainless steel plate. So what we did. Is, what they did. I mean, what they did. <laughs> we asked them to build a thinner uh, pin, but in order to have the same strength with a different material. So this is not regular stainless steel. This is, I don't remember, I can write somewhere, but it's a special kind of material that is like, I don't know, three times more strong than stainless steel. And that's really strong it is. It's pretty good. <laughs> but I think it's enough talking for today. Yeah. I mean, we can't wait to go sailing. It's going to be awesome really soon really soon just stick with us that soon you're gonna go sailing but for now what do we need to do welcome on board our new patrons <laughs> patrons time so welcome on board francis harry philip michael matt tyson simon mark andrew ron roger matthew welcome back nando sender and we also want to thank the donations through our paypal thanks so much joseph kevin steven our good friend neil our friend daryl Gren. Roger, Eric, Mark, and Michael. Guys, thanks so, so much. We really, really appreciate everyone's support. And we see you guys next, next week. week. Yeah, with the list. Yeah. As you can tell, Roberto loves a list. We always have a list, <laughs> to-do list. But it's good because we can see our progress. We are doing really good progress on this list now. We are touching most of this already. Yeah, but we're going to talk about that in the future episode. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not going to take another year and a half. It's going to be much <laughs> quicker this time. We are like, you know, trying to get there as quick as possible because we want to go sailing and we want to be on the anchor and we want to swim on the ocean. Yeah, the travel lift is making noise. That's a cue for us to <laughs> yeah. See you guys next week. See you guys.